It's just a bunch of hocus pocus. <laughs> Hey, hi, hello, my name's Alexis, and today we are doing this look right here, the final Sanderson sister, Winnie, um, played by Bette Midler, who I love. Um, I can't, I can't, I keep laughing at the way the lips look when I'm talking, but this is the look. It's very simple and easy, but it's still very recognizable, so if you want to see how I did this, then keep on watching. Based on brows down, eyes primed, primed. I already can't speak. Um... Winnie's eye look is very simple and very easy. Now, I was under the impression when I was first doing research that she had a smoky eye, and she does not. Bette Midler is not wearing a smoky eye. So, I discovered this from a gif. And yes, I said gif. Fight me. Um, it's from the very beginning of the movie. They're about to... I mean, spoiler alert, I guess, if you've never seen this, even though this is literally like the first like two scenes in the movie. Um, they're about to hang the witches, and... They say something to get Winnie's attention and she goes, yes, and she's constantly blinking, constantly blinking. So from that gif, I could see from her constant blinking that she actually has just darkness in the crease and not on the lid. So that's what I'm going to do. That was way too much explanation, more than necessary. So I'm going to start off with a latte. I'm using my Pro Matte palette again, as if I don't own any other palettes. This one I'm just using out of convenience. You can use any palette that has any kinds of brown shades in them, because that's really what I'm using this for. Um, but yeah, I'm going to start off with Latte, and I'm just going to stick it in and above my crease. as my crease and transition color, so I'm just popping it in there. Next, I'm going to add just a little bit more depth into the crease, and I'm going to use the shade Corduroy on my e.l.f. blending brush, and I'm just going to pick it up with, like, the tip of my brush and tap it off, because these are really pigmented, and I'm just going to put it, like, in right in, like, the deepest part of my crease. Right in there. Just add a little bit more depth and definition to my eye. And for the lid, I'm going to take the shade Bare. Take, take any eyeshadow that is similar or close to your skin. Um, so I'm going to take this one and I'm just going to put it on my lid. And that'll really help with this definition in the crease also. There's that, and then she doesn't really have anything on the lower lash line. <clears throat> Excuse me. But I... <clears throat> what is wrong with my voice? Uh, I have a frog. <clears throat> but I want to do a little bit of something, so I'm going to take my 217... Whoa, did you see that? I blinded myself. I'm going to take my 217 and a little bit of latte. And I'm just going to put some of this on the lower lash line. Because I just want something there. Just, just a teeny bit of something. If anything, she has something smudged like into her lashes, but I'm me and if I try and do that, it'll get crazy fast. So I'm just gonna put this eyeshadow down there. Next I'm gonna take my black liner and I'm just gonna do my tight line. Keep the waterline clear, just do the, the mm -mm, just do your tight line. And then I'm gonna curl my lashes and apply I almost said lights, camera, splashes. Wow, that's that's not right at all. This is better than sex waterproof. And that's the eyes done. Like I said, real simple, real easy. So I'm moving back onto the face. Um, I'm gonna contour just a little bit. Just, just a teeny, 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 teeny bit of contouring because I need it. So I'm just gonna do my cheekbones. Whoa! Didn't tap my brush off enough. Oh, that's okay. Blend it. Just blend. Keep blending. Don't stop blending. Never stop blending. Cheeks. Winnie has circles of blush on her cheeks. Just circles of blush. So I'm gonna um, mix two shades because I don't want it to be too red. I don't want it to be too pink. So I'm gonna take Love Hangover and um, How Deep Is Your Love, so the pink and the red shade, and <laughs> apply them in circles as best as I can onto the apple of my cheek right here. So, I'm gonna take um, the Real Techniques contour brush for this so I can really like have a bit more control to really make this 
a circle. So I've just dipped into both those shapes and I'm gonna start right here. <laughs> oh my god, I'm putting circles on my face. <laughs> just a circle on my cheek. There we go. I'm gonna blend it into a bigger circle. I'm gonna keep the edges kind of soft because I don't want it to be like a circle circle. But just the general shape of a circle. Right there on my cheek. Circles of blush. Not too circly, but still pretty rosy. No highlighter like any of the other witches that I've done, so we're gonna move on to the lips. So, very iconic lips that are going on. I actually need to block out my lips a little bit. I'm just taking whatever's left on my foundation brush, just so it all the rest of my lip that I don't feel with color blends into my skin a little bit better. So I'm gonna outline my or uh, yeah, outline my cupid's bow first. So just the cupid's bow and then just the bottom center of my lip. And then I'm just gonna Connect these lines. And I'm trying to curve it rather than point it. And I just fill it in just like that. And of course you can make it um, bigger or smaller, your your new lip shape, uh, bigger or smaller depending on your natural lip shape. Um, I have a bit fuller lips so I can kind of get away with doing it a little bit bigger. But that's a general, <laughs> it kind of looks funny, it looks funny when I smile, um, that's a general idea of how to do Winnie's lips. And this is the finished Winifred Sanderson inspired look. You can definitely tell who it is with these lips. I mean, like I said, iconic. It looks funny when I talk. Um, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. All the links to all my social media will be down in the description, so check me out there. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys again soon. Bye!